All right, you know what? Screw it, guys. We're going to end it really, really early just because your boy's a little hungry. What's up, everybody? How we doing? How is everybody's night going? It is uh, Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? I took a guess there. I took a guess just because I have no idea what day it is, and uh, my brain is a little frazzled right now, so we have 79 people tuning in tonight. Hello, hello. Let's see who we have here. Let's venture in to the chat and see who is tuning in. We have, um, we have VO2 Max Vegan. Hello, how are you? You're going to like what I'm having tonight. World class douchebag. Uh, who else do I recognize? Who else do I recognize? Who else do I recognize? David? Yes. Hello, sir. Everyone's talking about drugs. Straight Veg, how's it going, sir? Recognize that name. Recognize that name. What's up, guys? How are we doing tonight? Um, Mira, hello. How are you? Uh, anyways, so it's a bummer, everybody. Right now, um, I was uh, actually spending the past, I would say, uh, oh, yes, hello, Madison. Uh, I've been trying to get this, my DSLR camera, to work with my web um, as in, in place of my webcam and it hasn't been successful. So I was trying to do that for the past 20 or so minutes. Kind of a bummer. Um, went out to Fry's, tried to get all the uh, cords and the materials uh, needed, but apparently that just wasn't enough for me. So the problem mainly is, is that uh, I do this over Google Hangouts, uh, Google Air or whatever, and it's only recognizing my webcam, even though I have uh, the Canon utility software installed and my, um, that app on my Mac is actually using it as a, it's, it's showing my um, footage from my DSLR on my computer, but for some reason it's not working. Not working, but it is what it is, guys. Not gonna complain, but I try to get the quality up for you guys, you know how it is. But who saw the Domino's pizza box? Wait, should I say Domino's? Was it Domino's, guys? Was it? Could be. It could be. Yes, it was. If you guys were tuning in to my um, Snapchat, you'll see that I uh, recently took a little trip over to Domino's. Guys, I, I guess I'm doing a little self-experiment. Doing a little self-experiment lately. So, um, trying new things. Tonight, um, tonight, I'm doing something a little different. We'll just say, we'll say there. Uh, and I was really, really... Usually, guys, I make my All right, guys, so I am very, very sorry, but my computer decided to uh, take a dump on me. For lack of a better term, it decided to crap, take a crap on me. So uh, I've actually never had that happen before. I've had Google um, not, I've had it like just kind of fade out, but um, my, literally, my computer literally just turned off on me. 
I was like, holy shit, why is the why is no one saying anything? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, guys, like I've been saying, um, you have to pay extra for dumping. Guys, I don't want to dump on anybody. I don't know if you guys saw, I, I showed everybody my epic dinner before this computer decided to stop working on me, but guys... Here we are, we have legendary dominoes. Boom, check that out everybody. So, I decided to uh, go out and get uh, get something new, get some dominoes. You know, gotta do it sometimes guys, it's life. Gotta try different things, right? Gotta try different things. I'm also trying something new out from Gardein tonight. Um, yeah, guys, it's actually pretty cool because Domino's, there's like a Domino's right by my house. So I was like, you know what? Got done with the gym. Took a nice casual bike ride today. I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go try it. So I'm going to do that for you guys. But yeah, I really want to try to get these live streams to be like better quality one of these days and you know it's it's hard but you know it is what it is right i think i say that enough what's on tv oh shit rush hour shout out to everybody that knows about rush hour not the actual rush hour but i feel like i didn't show you guys get a good enough Get a nice little uh, shot of that. Boom. Of course, we have to heat it up because it's freaking cold. It's freaking cold. So, what did I get? What did I get? Oh, yeah. I got to show you guys a new um, review that I'm going to be doing. Since you all are exclusive right now. Boom. Cherry Garcia. Check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out. And then what else did we get? Oh yes, today I received a package from this company. They are still new. Uh, this the actual people that started this. They're two vegan guys. So shout out to Connor for sending this out to me. We have uh, Liquid IV. I'm gonna be doing a full review on this very very soon. But essentially, uh, no preservatives, artificial flavorings, anything like that. Um, it's a full on, it's actually, it's great for endurance athletes. So you guys are on my social media, you will see it in a little snippet on there too. And then last but not least, everybody, what I'm eating tonight, we have Gardein. I'm trying for the first time, I'm trying the Gardein grounds. So these looked pretty good. I've been eating these, these Gardein, or these meatless grillers just because my store stopped Carrying the uh, the good shit, I'll say it that way. Um, I used to eat those teriyaki strips. They're like little. They're really really good. If you guys haven't had them before, I highly recommend it. Highly highly highly. Uh, who else is in the chat right now? We have. Ultimate goal in life is to be sponsored by Guardian. That's funny. That's my goal too. Now my ultimate goal is to be sponsored by a. I really would like Kellogg to sponsor me. I really, really, really would. That'd be fucking awesome. Is he doing this like right now? I don't know. I might be. I might be just frauding you guys. This may have been filmed, just like my cheat. Oh, I just sat on my pizza box. God damn it. Fail. Everyone's gonna give me shit for that. Oh well. My dad works for Kellogg's. Can you get the hookup, dude? Tell your dad that I do cereal abuse. I always like laugh when people ask what my Snapchat name is. My Snapchat name is Eric the Eclectic. Eric the Eccentric Eclectic. Um 
Yeah, we're having a pizza party, guys. A pizza party. Now it's a party. Shout out to Raphael RZ, who's studying right now, probably. Um, I, for I forgot something very, very important, guys. I'll be right back. Shout out to my white legs, though. Oh, man. I can't believe I just sat on a pizza box. You guys, you know what? How about this? I'm going to do it at a random a random spot. How about that? Random portion of the video, I will do it. I'll give you guys a little shout out. I might, I might do it, actually. I've been thinking about doing it every other live stream or just keeping it kind of, uh, you know, random. Because I do it every single live stream, and it's kind of like, eh. Gotta switch it up, right? Because I can, this is the Domino's not made by a hair pizza taste test. The non made by Eric pizza taste test. Live stream, what do we think? Does that look pizza gas and material? I think so. I think so. That's, I mean, it's got garlic on it, right? How could it not be? Let's try it out. Cheers. Well, definitely not pizza guys and material, but still pretty damn awesome. I gotta say, guys, their crust, pretty on point. It's so funny because Domino's wanted me to pay like an extra, I think it was like five bucks for like putting garlic and other toppings on it. I was like, good me, bro. Uh, what state am I from? I'm from California. Shout out to Sophia. Sophia, did you sign with the MLE? Answer that. I'm curious. Nothing beats a good Chicago pizza. You are right, my friend. Meatless grounds. Really crunchy. Yep, five dollars for a medium. It's actually not five dollars. It cost me. I priced it out. It was like nine dollars base price for medium. Holy fuck! There's a spider on my wall. I think it is. Yeah, it's gonna die. Shot to all the vegans. <laughs> um. But. Am I okay? Yes. For now. I took a nice ride today. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been good. So I'm working my way back too. You guys got to see this. this fucking thing's massive. It's actually not that big, but. You know what? Only piece of paper I could find is my paycheck. Let's stop this thing. Where is this fucker? See that? It's not Black Widow, but sorry, vegans, I have to. Sorry, vegans. This thing dead. Ah, where the fuck is he? Shit, where'd he go? I think that's the remnants of him, but... Yeah, well... Call me a horrible person, but I think I killed him. I fucking hate spiders, guys. Sorry. Eric, let it bite you. Yeah, that's the last thing I need right now. And that's the last thing I need. That is the last fucking thing I need in this world. Spider, spider bite. I feel like half of this chat is going to hate me now. 
more than they already do. I feel like that's the case though. I feel like most people call spiders massive, even though they're, mo yeah, they're not, but. Um, kill that ducker. Hmm. Wow, holy shit, we got a lot of people in here. How's it going, guys? Welcoming all the new subscribers that are new to the, the chat. This I'm watching Rush Hour 3 in the background if you haven't been able to decipher it. Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. I live on Crenshaw Boulevard. Are you some sort of pro biker? New to your channel, notice you bike every day. I'm not a biker, I'm a cyclist. And no, I'm not a pro. Um, retro subscriber checking in. I don't know what a retro is. I'm sorry I didn't see you, um, Sophia, if you responded to me saying if you uh, signed yet or not. I didn't, I didn't get to see it. Chat moves fast. Do a giveaway, give pizza as the giveaway. That wouldn't last too long in a, uh, in a box. Straight Veg did the 10,000 calorie vegan challenge, his asshole hated him. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll ever do that one. I don't think I'm ever gonna do one again though. Boom. Yeah, the veggies. So, so see, Sophia signed with the MLE. I mean, if you got the time, more power to you. Is Little Caesars deep dish the best, best pizza? Hell no. Authentic Chicago style pizza is. That was really awkwardly spaced out. Um, why are you sitting now? <laughs> Should I be standing? Where's your Diet Coke? Where's your Diet Coke? I'm having 7-Up tonight. Sorry. What do you mean by that? Uh, so, when you sign with MLE, all of your YouTube stuff, you can't really do anymore. Um, I mean, at least it was the case with, with me, um, but yeah, you can't really do YouTube stuff. You can't do restaurant challenges. Um, you're kind of held to a contract and you got to travel and stuff. I mean, that's kind of the way it goes. You look just like Connor Franta. I have no idea who these people are. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? But um, but yeah, so guys, it's awesome. Um, I was just talking to Raphael, RZ Fitness, and he was telling me, He was stoked um, about my growth and everything, which is really, really cool. Um, it's been insane. It's, in, it's been really insane, guys. So, I really just want to thank every single one of you for hitting that subscribe button. Like I always say, it's, it sounds pretty cliche, but um, you guys mean a lot to me. Can you show us your girlfriend picture? What the fuck? Okay, this guy's getting really annoying. Um, sorry, I gotta, gotta do some administrative materials. 
administrative methods here. Um, but yeah, so essentially, it was crazy because uh, at one time, I was um, getting like 800 subscribers a day, which is absolutely out of this world for me, out of this world. Um, today I saw it was at like 400 a day, which is like still mind blowing, but, but yeah, I mean, I, I always, regardless of where I'm at, even if, I don't, if, even if I'm in like, at a million subscribers, I'll always remember who supported me when I started. So, that's what means a lot. That's what means the most to me. My channel, why do you think your, your channel is going so fast? Um, because I've done a lot of stupid stuff on camera, and people like to see that. For, for, I mean, to be straight honest, guys, that's what it comes down to. Um, yeah, but I'm still kind of contemplating what I want to do from, ne from here on out in terms of, um, doing more speed eating contests and stuff like that. I'm definitely, um, thinking about doing more in that sense, but like all the volume eating challenges and stuff. I just feel like, personally, it's not just not a sustainable method, me being a young, relatively young person. Sugar-free gummy bear challenge? No, thank you. Yeah, guys, I'm sunburned as hell right now. I took my, my sleeveless cycling jersey, the one I do have, out to try to get rid of these tan lines, but it didn't happen. Well, it did happen. I just got super sunburned. Do more cycling videos? I should. I'm actually going to put one up tomorrow. I think. How not to get hit by a car? You better celebrate 69,000 subscribers. You like Neapolitan ice cream. <laughs> you mentioned sodium is worse than a challenge. What's really worse, sodium or fiber? Um, I mean, anything in excess is bad, to be completely honest. Anything. I mean, if we're talking about in, like, I, would, I, I mean, sodium is... I would say the culprit though, like it all boils down to it for all the bloating and everything. But fat, fat and sodium are what really kill people. Not literally, but. What if you hit one million tomorrow, what would you do? Guys, the, the biggest thing with all this is that it's like you hit these milestones and it's like, cool, but it's not necessarily like something that's like, I don't, it's okay. It's like, it's like when you get to another level in Warcraft or any game, like you, you level up your character. Shout out to the level up sound in my 50,000 calorie video. Oh shit. I really want to see the new Purge movie. That looks fucking tight. The Purge election year. That looks fucking sick. Anyways, um, when you level up your character in World of Warcraft, it's literally just it's numbers on the screen. Granted, every single subscriber that I get, it's, it's somebody taking time out of their day to subscribe to me. But there is always there's an once I hit say I hit a hundred thousand subscribers, then it's about a hundred or hundred thousand more subscribers, and it's like it's going to keep going. So. Those are my thoughts on it, but I mean, what do I know, right? When are you doing the hundred thousand calorie challenge, dude? What? 
I like I don't know if these are actually legitimate questions. If they are, I literally questions question people's common sense. Should come back up to Corvallis and we'll lift and go out to the best breakfast joint. I'm sorry, sir. No offense to you, but I'm never going to that place ever, ever again. Eric, I guess you earn well with YouTube. How about cycling videos in other countries? Uh, sir, if I had the time to do all that, I would love to. Do all you can eat section at a baseball game. Would you do meet and greets? Um, I think this has been asked before, but around here, I don't think anybody would want to meet and greet me. Yes, I do watch Global Cycling Network. Asking someone over and over to say your name is it obnoxious at all, LOL. It definitely, um, yeah, Andrea, shout out to Andrea, who's another uh, loyal subscriber. See what I to deal with? Should I got to deal with you? Yeah, I always found it funny. Like, I instantly ban people that try to pour out their social media on my, my chats, and then, I mean, I don't really mind if people are like, oh, give me a shout out, because I don't really do it, but, um, it's when people type in all caps, and then they keep spamming the chat. Then I then I ban people. I get on the ban hammer. Um. So right now, everybody, it is about nine oh three. I want you all to Snapchat me right now, Eric the Electric. Show us some chats before we get to the rapid fire Q and A. The rapid fire Q and A. I don't use Snapchat. Yeah, I didn't use Snapchat either for the longest time, but oh, you gotta be hip, right? Hip. Gotta be hip. But I mentioned numerous times how much I've hated Snapchat before. But it's just funny to see people look like absolute idiots when they do use it. Like on, especially when people are driving, because like you can kill somebody, uh, like a cyclist. Um, shouldn't even laugh about that, but it's true. So I'm trying to get the most garlicky piece I can. You guys can't tell already. I added additional garlic on this one. Boom. That's it, baby. That is it, baby. Can't believe I just said baby. Right there, I'm gonna say, shout out to Onions. He thinks he is cool, according to Kenny Alvarez. I am cool, right? Cool enough to eat pizza. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. The thought just occurred to me. I should have put some cheese on this pizza. It's gone, Eric. I thought I'd give it a shot, like just to see. Because I, I feel like even if you do put light cheese when you're ordering, from Domino's, 
they still find a way to put like it, like a stupid amount of cheese on your pizza. America, right? America. Shit, that burned too. Damn it. I cannot. I I will say though, guys, if you try, if you guys haven't tried baking your roasting your grounds, I bake everything. I love it. You get that crunchy texture. I have an obsession with baking things. No, I don't have an obsession with getting baked. Before you guys ask, it's just not my uh, not my thing. My Snapchat is not Eric Duke. Eric Clark. Epileptic, I think world class douchebag is saying. And yes, everybody, it's time for seven. Died, of course, we're trying to watch our figure. One of these days, someone's gonna believe me. I should stop saying that. Um, Caesar, that's it. I should really try that though. Or this, I should say. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing, man. Alrighty. You understand the words that come out of my mouth? Words that come out of my mouth. I got that stuck in my head. Room soda temperature. Room soda temperature. Room soda. Room temperature soda. I couldn't say that right. It's not room temperature. It was in the refrigerator. Okay. So Snapchat wise, what do we have? <laughs> the first thing that I see from Instagram is someone saying, Eric the Electric, he's a recovering anorexic, he should go vegan to help his health. You guys can see that right there. I find, I find that statement pretty funny. I find that statement pretty funny. Um, I'm not gonna really go into why I find it funny, so I can create some controversy on my channel right now, but Anyways, we're going to show I have 11 Snapchats. I'm oh, sorry, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the first one's gonna be from Country, who says she needs to be sleeping. Next one's gonna be from Johanna Roller. It says, good morning from Germany. Sophia sends a picture of her face. Lauren, 12.05, says she loves me. Love you too, Lauren. Uh, Sarah says, watching your live stream. Um, faceless Mira. Says I'm fasting. I'm sorry that you're fasting. Uh, Tyrell sends a picture of me. And then me leaving. Um, oh, sweet. I got another one too. Uh, this one's from Ryan who says, You seem like the biggest douche ever since your channel got popular. You're cocky as hell. Thank you, sir. Um, I am a proud, you know, I, I'm proud of, the, of who I am. I think it can be a pretty good, pretty big asshole sometimes. Um, I am never an asshole to my little subscribers. I'm never an asshole to people that encourage me, that motivate me. I am an asshole to people that uh, talk shit to my subscribers, my family, and people that I associate myself with. And, I'm a, and I am an asshole to people that are ignorant and narrow-minded. So, just want to clear the air there. 
Um, anyways, guys, it is time right now. I feel like I just went on a pretty big rant. Um, yeah, guys, I'm not, I'm not really an asshole, but some days I can get a little peeved. Um, it is 10 minutes starting now. So that is the rapid fire Q and A. You guys have 10 minutes. You can ask me anything you want and I answer it to the best of my ability. I like answering questions tonight. What can I say? There really is nothing wrong with being confident at all. Do you think doing 10,000 calorie challenge weekly is too much? Um, yes. <laughs> Waffle or pancake? Waffle. How often should I use lube? Like on my bike. That's funny. Uh, you should be lubing up your chain, um, I would say, after every ride. What shoes do I lift in? I lift in... I prefer to lift in flat sole shoes, so I use like bands. Um, am I a peanut butter and oatmeal kind of guy? Yes, I am, and I am that kind of guy every single night before I go to bed. That's literally my last thing I have before I go to sleep every night, or has been. When will you do the video with Brian about eating disorders? That should be very, very soon. Could potentially be, well, I'm not going to give a date on that. Favorite muscle to train in the gym? Um, lately, it's been hamstrings. Kind of random, but. What about the strawberry cereal review? That was a teaser for my next cereal review. So that will be posted when I decide to post the other video. Eric, murder rates are up 88% this year in Chicago. Did you encounter this carnage when you live there? No, I did not, thankfully. Are you going to see Blink a day to remember on the 21st or the 22nd? I think I've seen you ask this question about three or four different times. Someone's finally decided to get to that one and say that I have not uh, purchased tickets yet, sir. Love you though, depending on if I can get work off that day. Apples or bananas? Uh, definitely apples. That pizza though. Snickers or Butterfingers? Butterfingers by far. Snickers is garbage. Um. How do you stop linking yourself with your weight? Um, because yourself, as, as, a, as an individual, you are way more than your weight. So that's just, your weight is a number, it's your, um, I mean, I would, I would just say, first of all, just throw the scale away. Eric, do you own a gun? No, but I'm potentially getting one soon. When did you get a belt in the gym? Um, I got a belt when I was, I think I did hit 315, but I don't use a belt anymore. Well, only on my top sets. It just takes away from your abdominal or your core, core work. I literally, the only, only core work that I really do is from my compound, so I like to not use a belt. Yeah, straight veg. I might, I, I might want to go, but I mean, I'd only go if you, if you went, man. Seriously, so I'm not gonna go alone. Why do I still weigh myself? I do not weigh myself. What's your favorite, peanut butter or almond butter? I would say my favorite is definitely peanut butter. Almond butter I have to be in the mood for.
what languages do you speak? I speak uh, English, obviously. Um, I would say okay Spanish and a little bit of German. I ain't spy type. Yeah, I'm not gonna go into it. What do you do 24 hours to prepare for an eating challenge? Do you have one meal and water? No. Um, like before I, oh shit, Chris Tucker is singing right now. Uh, before the last one, I had um, like a 5,000 calorie day. So I don't really do any sort of prep work. I usually eat a lot of um, fibrous vegetables the day before though. What's your favorite Oreo? Um, I'm gonna have to say the cinnamon roll. Oreos are the best. Favorite Ben and Jerry's flavor? Um, pistachio, pistachio, pistachio. Favorite movie? I answered this in my last Q&A. Who is more freaked out at the moment? You are the driver of the car. I think obviously the driver was. After every, any sort of cycling accident, the driver is the one that's usually freaked out the most. So, unless it's like a um, like a really 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 bad accident. So. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's not really something I want to think about too much, to be honest, but that moment just keeps constantly, like, I had a nightmare about it last night. It was kind of a bummer. Favorite protein powder? Um, I wonder if that's an actual question or not. Obviously not salt you pork. Um, I actually just got some red velvet um, cake. Wait, red velvet cake cake protein. I think it is. It's salt you pork in today. I'm excited to give it a shot. If I could recommend what time, one kind of cereal, what would it be? One kind of cereal. Um, I would say, can't do honey bunches of oats because I always recommend that one. Uh, I'd go with Reese's Puffs, can't go wrong with that. Did I consume all the Skittles yet? No, I haven't. I have not even gotten to break into them like I want to. Probably tonight though. The thing with the Skittles is I have to be in the mood for them because they rip up your mouth. What are your five most recent sweets that I ate? Well, I had um, I had uh, some really sweet gum today. I had some, I had some Powerade Zero. Um, <laughs> had some cereal. Um, more cereal, yeah. Schnitzel or bratwurst? Um, I have no idea what schnitzel is. To be honest, I think it's like a, it's obviously some sort of meat. But favorite German food. Um, I have no favorite German food. I just want to say one German food that I want to try is sauerkraut. I've literally never had sauerkraut before. I feel like it's something I'm either going to love or absolutely hate. Do I like Chinese food? I like authentic Chinese food. I don't like Americanized crap. Like if I'm gonna get Chinese food, I'm gonna go all all the fuck out. Like just so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out of that Chinese place looking like a boomer. Did a whole box of frosted flakes in the 10k. Haven't been that happy in a long time. Yeah, frosted flakes will do that to you.
tastes like cabbage and pickle juice. Isn't that what kimchi is? Ah, oh. damn it, it's my alarm clock. Um, it's always fun, guys. That's always fun. Um, well, that was the 10 minute QA. Well, Rapid fire Q and A. Everybody. And since I'll answer one last question. Well, I am gonna answer one last question. What made you start doing food challenges? Um I went through a very hard part of with um, anorexia um, back in the day and realized that I stretched my stomach capacity enough to be able to take in a lot of food. So once I got out of treatment, about six months after I got out, I realized that I could um, do an eating challenge and I fell in love with it. So that's why I do them and because I love food. So. Um, this is coming to the time, everybody. Now for the new subscribers, after every, at, at the end of every single live stream, I ask you guys to ask me one question. It could be any question that you'd like. I pick you, pick you, pick your question, give you a shout out. And of course, I answer that question. So right now. Ask away. Ask away, everybody. While I pick away at what's remaining on my plate. You drink a shit ton of water, actually stretch your stomach out. It actually does. Does a lot. A lot of uh, competitive eaters water train. Oh, that is a lot of questions. Hello. Anything big coming soon? If there's something big coming soon, I wouldn't reveal it. I just make a clever joke. Oh shit, chat's blowing up. I sure hope you're okay. I am definitely okay. Thank you. Thank you for hoping that I'm okay. Um, ever done a 24 hour ride? No, and I have no plans to. Water training is, can definitely be dangerous. Um, even in the competitive eating community, water training is uh, one of those things. I wouldn't say it's frowned upon, but it's definitely like, eh, kind of iffy because that's can lead to water intoxication. So, do I watch and help? I don't know who that is. So, for time references or for time's sake, I'm going to pick this one because I feel like it's actually a great question, actually, too. So, this question is from James Hart who says, Do you think the key to overcoming an eating disorder is to stop lifting? The question mark. Too much focus on your body only exacerbates the problem. Um, so, great question, James. I think that. Any sort of, um, any eating disorder really, um, it all manifests, they all manifest themselves in different ways. So um, one person, um, one girl with anorexia, for example, a guy with anorexia, 
maybe um, a, um, a track runner. I mean, and the track running may have led him into a bad part with his eating disorder uh, or um, anorexia, whatever he has, but also may be a huge passion of his. So that being said, for that time, for them to be able to get to a better mental place and be more mentally stable, and to be uh, and to realize that they are more than their body, they're going to need to refrain from doing that because those sorts of things put a lot of emphasis on your body. And I'm a firm believer in uh, the fact that you have to separate yourself from your body for whatever duration of time it may be. Everyone's different in order to overcome something like anorexia or bulimia or whatever you have. That's just the way I think. That's the way I believe. Um, so that's just the bottom line when it comes down to it. It's hard. But for some people, maybe lifting weights. I will say that strictly lifting weights, though, for most eating disorders is pretty uncommon usually. It's some, well, at least it's more and more common now with men in bigorexia and um, having to be chiseled and low body fat, but like in just like a general sense. It's more about like higher amounts of activity to control one's weight because lifting weights only really burns a certain amount of calories. So, but anyways, everybody, huge shout out to all of you. I love these now. These are awesome. Um, it's crazy to have over like 130 people constantly, um, consistently, I should say. Um, in these live streams. So, guys, I'm like in a good place right now where I can actually not really worry about putting out videos constantly and really all of that. So, I'm, um, it's a day off for me. Tomorrow will be a day off. I might, might do one tomorrow, but um, definitely stay tuned to my social media if you guys haven't already. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, another drill. Love you guys. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate everything. Appreciate the support. Stay tuned for the next video. Later, guys. World class. Go ride a bike.